exactly. <laughs> that was uh, he can keep that one. <laughs> Out of the fourteen million, that can kick rocks. <laughs> when he put up the one finger, he's yep. like, "Yo, this is it." Dog. That was that snapping. was not the one. That was. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, Amadeus getting ready to play against PG's very own Mars. You know, <clears throat> uh, I think Amadeus of all the, the the top players or the players to come up um, in Smash, like that are on the. the the come up like the high rise. Yeah. Um, I like you know his mindset some of the best in, uh, in comparison to some of the other ones I've heard. You know he was telling me that uh, you know obviously he's just looking to do his best, and it's all about like small victories, of course. You know what I'm saying? Like of course you want to get the stocks taken. You got to do what you got to do. But at the end of the day, he's like, look, I'm just I'm happy to be here first and foremost. Absolutely. And, and second of all, man, I, I need to do my best. Absolutely. Zanus donated the five dollars. Thank uh -huh. you. We appreciate it. That's right. We, we about to hit that four grand, baby. Oh, nice. Trying to use the four there to catch. The Cypher, that's one of the better moves in the game to try to uh, punish Cypher on Snake, True. Yeah, man, Snake's uh, up special is like, it's like annoyingly good. Like, it's good when it's yours, but it's annoying like when you aren't playing Snake. It's kind of like yeah. the King K rules up special sometimes. True. It just has like that activeness that it just makes it difficult to spike. Okay, yeah, that's smart. He's gonna retreat away. Oh, Mark being relentless with the forwarder. Yeah, that it was, was a so sting. Clean. It was a sting operation. Absolutely. Open up. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going to grab him. He's I'm out of here. Oh, the shot, and that's going to be a kill. I think it's so strong. It even is. with his uh, base stage. Don't really have to charge it all too much. And it's also a really good, like, uh, ledge option as well, too. You know, yeah. catching it's opponents rolling on. Or absolutely. Trying to go for a neutral. Get up the timing that forward smash, you know, that way, like, you, uh, you know, you, you time it and you charge it at the just enough time so it, like, can travel far enough distance True. away. It's one of those moves that clearly is able to cover a multitude of options there on the ledge. Again, mm -hmm. shout out to Blue J Fire. That's right. Blue Fire is the hottest fire. Super yep. fire hot right there, man. Nothing but, man. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I like that. Well, well he's throwing everything at him right here. Okay, gets to turn around forward, too. Now, see, the thing about this is, like, you know, Snake, uh, you know, is it, used to KOing opponents at relatively early percent. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, but the Super Fighting Robot is so heavy, man. But what, what was that? I feel like you wanted to move or jump away, but because you got sniped, you didn't actually move away from the blast and you got hit by it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be rough. It's in the air at three stocks, potentially. Just thought I'd say that Mars going to pull off side of stage, but unless you have the leaf shield on deck, hit him with that autumn breeze. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, what's he about to do with it? Okay, yeah, he knows better. Oh, Tomahawk. Oh, yeah, toss that ass. Oh, wait a Okay, now that would have been actually ridiculous. Had he got hit with the crash bomb into the yep. up air and it took him up, I would have actually had to walk back home, all right? Oh, yeah, and hold that bomb, too. Yeah, okay. that's a rough situation. Really, really beautiful. No ZSS there. either, too. I was expecting a little ZSS from my man Mars, but uh, no, I mean, he's Mars is in the mood in, for some Mega Man, dude. Yeah, he's been putting in so much work with them all to different characters, and I love this. Mm -hmm. I love seeing when you have character uh, players, yeah. rather, who are really studious about the game, just pick up these very strong secondaries. I think it's very important, for sure, right now, we're in a game that has 70-plus characters, and yeah. a multitude of these characters being extremely viable. I think it is very important right now to succeed. I think it's something long-term that's important for your general growth as a player. Mm -hmm. But even in the immediate future, just being in a place where people are still trying to figure out all these matchups that are in the game, but a lot of these characters are actually somewhat viable. I agree. It is very difficult to finish them out, right? So it's, it's awesome. I, I, li I like I like seeing that. I, I like think Genesis did players. something to Mars. Like, I mean, Mars has always been a very strong player all the way across the board. I think, uh, you know, one of his stronger showings is when his first when he first, like, you know, came to fruition in the community was, like, Genesis 3 in doubles. Uh, I think him and his brother beat Ni uh, Nairo and Zero. They put them in losers, and then that's when they had to play Como and Renai later on, and they couldn't uh, reset in grand finals and doubles. Um, but just this past Genesis as well, too, they ended up getting – I can't remember who he teamed with. I, I think it was – I don't know. I, I can't remember who he teamed with off the top. I know he was in Grand Finals because they right. played against Salem and, and Dark Wizzy. And uh, I was just like, wow, like, who can't Mars play? Like, I mean, it's one thing when you play a character like ZSS, but, like, think of the vast differences from ZSS to Mega Man and then from Mega Man to Ike. Those are just three completely different characters they across are. the board, you know? Yeah, it's like, it. it's one thing if you're going, like, Mario, then Luigi. I'm like, okay, I mean, I can see the differences in place or the, the sure. similarities, excuse me, in play style. But, you know, ZSS and, and Ike, oh, it's oh, not sick. even the same. But, yeah. Yeah, and, that, and that's kind of the thing I like about him, though. He has these multitude of characters yeah. that represent different archetypes. 
And that's very, very powerful to have in a game you know, and have them at a competent level in which your opponent not only has to deal with the fact that you have these Red Assault characters, but just having to have that paradigm shift once you go back and make that switch. I agree. You know, so it's just going to make your strategies just that much more important. So right. really great stuff there by Mars. Speaking of switch here, I need to see a switch of play style from my man Abadeus. Now typically, you know, you have the grenade in hand. It's a really good get off me tactic. But right now when you're in the deficit, you don't really have a lot of percent to kind of toss around and kind of work with here. So he's going to have to make sure he gets the most off of his conversions because right now Mars has the lead here. Now, I'm Absolutely. not saying, you know, ZSS plays a good camping game, but right now he has, he can be a little bit more meticulous on his combos. Yeah, he's been moving around in right now. He's been moving around these platforms very, very well. And yes, it shows. Right. Uh, it's in the arm um, this right now is just really trying to figure a way to kind of cover those spaces so he can't be so mobile. Yeah. But it's going to be something that's going to be hard for Snakes to deal with sometimes when you have people who are going to be in the lead and they're very, very mobile because you can't really pin them down and they're avoiding all your bombs and trap setups. Yeah, and DSS right now is pretty home, pretty much home sweet home. You know, she has these platforms at her disposal. You know, she can go for her ladder combos with a little bit more ease than like what we could if we were on stage with like Final Destination or like, you know, maybe Smash Bros. You know what yeah. I mean? The fact that we have three platforms like this really makes the task at hand that much easier. Right now, Amadeus goes in 152%. Gets the parry. Man. Backs Ooh. off though. Can he turn it into something? Nope, not coming to the kill just yet. Okay, try to drop the C4 on top of uh, Mars right there to give himself some landing options. Because once more, you know, ZSS, he has these platforms scouted out. Oh, that's yours. We're playing hot potato with the grenade. Oh, why not? Oh, come here. Get your back throw. And it's out. Okay, toss it up the up smash. Land it up. Stuff. Yeah. Got to respect that. I've seen a lot of that at Pound, actually. Like, the up smash right at the ledge of the stage. And then, like, if you get up off the ledge with the neutral get up and you hold shield, then, of course, you're going to get grabbed and the situation's going to be reset or whatever. So It covers so many options. <laughs> Really smart option right there from Amadeus. You know, still in a deficit, but it looks like he's starting to figure a couple things out here. Taking these platforms away from Mars right now. Okay, a little too overzealous though with the fourth. Oh, Hold up no, a yeah, he's not going to get that spike yet. Easy bear. The discovery, the chase, the damage. Okay, he has to go high this time. He lands on the platform. Nice stuff. Good situation awareness to outmaneuver the forward smash. Mars certainly had that one scouted out. Yeah, and what an incredible turnaround, man, from one from Mars. He's so quick to figure out this situation with these matchups. Oh, oh, fair. Should be okay here. Super air dodge, gonna trap that the jab. Wow, he is fair. on Fair, that stage. Oh my goodness. What a chase. Now, I think we might be going back to battle. I don't know what those hand gestures just meant, but I think that they meant that they might want to go back to the battlefield. Okay. And I just don't know about that when they were Chief. You know, I feel like the Kodak Black was just like, I don't know about that, Chief. Like, <laughs> um, it was a really good match towards the, the, I mean, it was a good match all around for Mars. Um, I think though, towards the tail and I'm a day, so I had to figure a couple things out. And I think the biggest thing at hand was like, he was taking the platform uh, comfortability away from Mars. He just wouldn't allow him to land for free anymore. You know, he was using back air in situations where Mars might have thought he could land on the platforms and so, like really regained his footing. But we'll see what we get here, man, in this next game, this final game too, mind you. Mars obviously playing nothing short of great. Uh, Amadeus obviously playing very strong as well too. There's just a couple areas where he can kind of tighten up some of those loose ends. And he might yeah. be able to sneak in a game. We'll see what we get though, man. Yeah, hopefully he can figure out something out here. The main thing that's gonna be problematic is Essentially, Mars has been able to just really carry him across the stage. Absolutely. And a lot of times it just seems that he's always getting hit by the secondary and third option every, every time again. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be scary, especially against a character like Zerasu, who is neutral, even though she has some tools. A lot of those tools don't really give stellar openings, but it seems like Mars has been able to find a way. He just seems like he's just way too rehearsed in these kind of scenarios versus Andreas. Yes. Sometimes that's just how it happens. Someone just recognizes those situations a ton more than you. I agree. And I mean, that's kind of how you have to play with ZSS. I mean, she's a, 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 a trap-based character, you know. Yeah. You're going to see a lot of empty hopping around. And typically, like what we've seen in the Schroeder match, like when Mario would hop around Snake so much, you know, you would go for a quick aerial out of shield. And I say True. quick, but I mean, it's the Snake we're talking about. So we'd either see like um, like back here real quick, or sometimes he would just stay grounded and use up tilt. But I mean, in this case here, you know, the match says go, and he just yep. gets smothered out the gate by exactly. Mars, and he just can't quite get that footing he needs. And so now here we are on a second stock where he's trying to, uh, uh, you know, like use grenades to kind of keep him out. Yep. But at that point, you are already so big in a deficit, you can't really toss around that much percent anymore. 
Dude, good, good parries on these, these landings, man, on these aerials. Not gonna let that happen for free. Okay. Oh, wait, goes high off the ledge. Okay, hold shield, another parry. Good stuff, man. I'd like to see a parry up to. Yeah. And my Dixie wreck one hand for that $2. <laughs> bro, bro, no, you did not. I did not. No, man. you did not. I did, man. <laughs> we about to end up already. <laughs> Whatever it takes, man. <laughs> Whatever it takes. <laughs> okay, up special that time. Hey, good stuff. Catch them. Oh, nice. I, yeah, that's not going to interrupt. Oh, good that force, is. Man. To interrupt that whole stock so right there. So good. Man. Go on, baby. Okay, goes for the dash attack. The Nikita back online. I'd like to see a little bit more of that, man. You know, a, a couple uh, exchanges ago, especially in that first game, he would try to go for, like, run off fair. Yeah. Like, run off a different aerial. But, you know, maybe sometimes you just need to stay stationary at the ledge of stage and let the Nikita do the work for you. Okay. Or oh, C4 do C4, it too. C4 will do it. I mean, yo, if he could just – okay, smart. I was getting ready to say, if he could just even put it on a platform, I mean, it would force Mars to stay a little bit more on, you know, uh, center stage. Yeah. And so we have to – He'd have to worry more about exchanges like this as opposed to like using these platforms and resetting the neutral. What am I looking <laughs> battle, at here? What's battle, battle. <laughs> oh, wait. I think it's on him this time. Oh, no, yeah, oh, no he put it back on him. back on him. Pressure is going to fall off eventually here. Okay. All right. It is grounded. I think he should cook the grenades a little bit more before he decides to toss them. But I do appreciate the attempt, especially if the opponent's not going to, you know, catch him and throw him back because, you know, that's a... That's a pretty ballsy tactic, you know. Oh, absolutely. Forward throw. Again, another forward there, man. Why don't... Oh, yeah. Ooh, the catch. Yep. Easy boost kick, and that's going to close out that stock. Mm -hmm. And the easy three. Oh, my man. Panda Global Mars. He's yeah. just been so stellar. Yes. Global, man. He's late, man. It's everywhere. No, he is doing big things, man. He doing definitely. big things. My boy Dixie would approve. You gotta do it right. That's it. <laughs>